Now let's understand the properties of isocon curves. Isocon curves are similar to indifference curves that we've studied under the theory of consumer behavior. We've already discussed this point. In the isocon curves, the combination of inputs gives us the same level of output. We've done this also. We've seen the schedule. In the schedule, we've seen that we change the factors of production. The amount of both the factors is changed. So at each level, we get different combination of factors of production. However, at each combination, the output remains the same. So an isocon curve, though gives me different combinations of input, will always give me the same level of output. It is also called as equal product curve or iso product curve wherein ISO in itself means equal. Producer is indifferent between them. Like in indifference curves, the consumer is indifferent amongst choosing the combination of the goods. Why is he indifferent? Because it gives him the same level of satisfaction. Every combination of goods gives him the same level of satisfaction. So he becomes indifferent. Same is the case here. The producer also becomes indifferent from employing any combination of factors of production. Why? Because all the combinations give him the same level of output. So it does not matter to him as to which combination he's, he goes with. Combination A, combination B, combination C, combination D and combination E all give him the same level of output. So he becomes indifferent in choosing any of the combinations. It is also called as production indifference curve. Precisely because of this reason that the producer becomes indifferent it is also called as production indifference curve. However, one important difference between the indifference curves and the isocon curves is the level. Level of what? The indifference curve measures the level of, it gives you the same level of satisfaction. And isocon curve gives you the same level of output. However, in the indifference curves, it is not possible to measure the level of satisfaction. You only know that you are getting the same level of satisfaction at all the combinations. Satisfaction is something which is very difficult to measure. However, the isocon curves. However, with the isocon curves, it is possible to measure the level of output because you know how much you will produce. You will produce 100 units, you will produce 1000 units or you will produce 10,000 units. The level of output is known. It can be measured. It can be calculated. However, the level of satisfaction cannot be measured under indifference curves. So this is the one point of difference that we have.